Hello everybody, this is Kelly at Indie Soap Works and I am um, back to do another soap. Um, another one for our uh, gentleman. And it's going to be a fragrance that is called Barber Shop. And um, this one is a um, obviously very masculine, beautifully clean um, fragrance. Not clean and masculine in a cologne type way, which was what uh, my last men's soap was. This is just like uh, I don't know, just like a very clean, maybe like, um, <laughs> that, it's really hard to describe a men's fragrance. I don't know what to compare it to, but it is a very nice one for the guys. So I am excited to have, um, to give this one a try. I'm going to go ahead and get my oils up off the bottom here. <laughs> a little bit dark in my kitchen right now um, the clouds are coming out it's been really sunny um, and then the rain clouds just showed up I'm here in California and I think it's supposed to rain so hopefully it's not uh, my video isn't looking too dark cuz it's kind of counting on that daylight all right let me scrape out my light container real quick that's good. All right. So for this mint soap, I am going to be doing um, a simple soap. Um, it's a three color. Well, four if you want to include white. Um, I'm going to be doing a, um, it's called co uh, Copper Sparkle Brown Mica. This is a, a blue that I'm going to be using to um, get like a light sky baby blue and then a um, Tahitian teal. It's like a green. I love the combination of brown and teal together so much. It's such a nice combo and then I think with the light blue and the white it's just going to be a really, um, a really pretty soap. So let's get started. my coconut milk that I'm adding there and I want to get all of that out it's kind of stuck on the bottom there okay That's a nice, nice trace right there. Whoops, I just kind of spilled some out. Grab my little towel here. Okay, so let me get my cup. going to do, I'm going to pour this one back in that is going to be for my um, baby blue because I'm probably going to end up adding TD to that one anyway. So if I mix it up with the rest of my white, then it'll already be in there and I could add, just add the blue. So now I'm going to add a little bit more TD since I just added a whole bunch more soap to that bowl. Oh, I feel like I've gotten lie on me. Yes, I did. I need to wash this off real quick. I don't know when that happened, but I just got a lie burn on the inside of my wrist. Today is just not my day. That is my second or third lie burn today. <laughs> 
so I really um I really ought to wear long sleeves when I'm soaping. These uh, little gloves are great, but they just don't uh, protect up your arm very much, and it's really easy to. Uh, it's just really, really easy to uh, get get the soap on your arm or you know places that you're not protected if you don't have long sleeves on. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get started mixing up. I'm gonna start with my blue. And I'm just going to add a couple little spoons of it and mix it up and see where we are color-wise. Because I really don't want a dark blue. I really just want a light, like I said, sky or baby blue. And this is looking really, really nice. Perhaps I'll put another little spoonful in. And that will be, yeah, exactly the color I was going for. Oh, I like that. It's kind of like a gray, like a grayish blue. Very pretty. I think that's going to be great for this uh, soap for the guys. And then my brown. Same thing. I'm just going to add a little bit. I don't want to add more brown than I need. Um, because like I said, it, um, brown tends to um, discolor sud the suds when you're using the soap. And if I can avoid having that in my soap, then I definitely do and this is a really pretty pretty brown it um, shimmers you can see a shimmer I'm sure you can't in the um, the uh, camera there but there is a nice shimmer to uh, the brown and this one will be my teal my favorite 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 color I love that teal it's Tahitian teal from Mad Oils and they also have another one that I really love, and it's called Peacock. Just really nice, nice colors. Now, oh, I forgot, yeah, I, I forgot that I wanted to mention this. Uh, one of my subscribers, her name is Michelle, she mentioned to me that there is a Facebook group called um, Steph's Micahs and More. And what it is, is like uh, a group on Facebook and they do like group buys for um, micas like colorants and I'm gonna add a little blue to this so what you do is you can go on and you can like pre buy or pre order micas and she then will take everybody's order and order like a large amount and then she'll split it up and ship it off to you and you can get some really great deals and I went on there and went nuts <laughs> so I just wanted to say Michelle thank you so much for sharing um, that group with me I am really really excited to um, to get those in that is gonna be really really neat all right, you guys, so these are my colors all mixed up. We got the brown, we got our blue, and this is, um, like I said, a very, very nice men's fragrance. Maybe like a, not like I said, not a cologne, but kind of like maybe like an aftershave, just like a freshly washed true gentleman. <laughs> I know that's probably like the stupidest way to describe it, but it's, I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just really like a fresh and clean gentleman. Okay. So, oh, I see a little bit of reaction going on. Possibly a little uh, ricing happening. Possibly. What's that? Let me just see if I could stir it out. I hope I don't have to stick blend. I mean, if I do, yeah, there's ricing. Oh, pooey. Okay. Well, it's just that getting the stick blender down in these cups is pretty hard to do. So let me do that since this has decided to be a ricer.
Okay, so now that I've um, stick blended these with the fragrance in and all, um, they have become really thick. So this will be the perfect opportunity for me to do um, a nice layered soap with um, a hanger swirl where it goes up and down. Um, it's perfect for a guy's soap, and I have been wanting to do that. I'm just kind of reserving that for um, a backup plan for when my batter gets really thick on me. So I'm not going to be too bummed out. See, like this is super duper thick. Like it really, really, really has thickened up a lot. And so um, I'm going to add a little bit more since I'm going to be doing layers just to kind of even them out. And hopefully make this one a little bit more fluid. It really does smell awesome, you guys. Really, really good. Okay, so let me get my mold up here. I think you guys can see with it like that. So what I'm gonna do, this isn't, I'm gonna take my blue and put it down in there. just go up and down that's it okay so then I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of my white on the top Oh, that's so pretty. Really like that. Simple and very, very beautiful. So let me show you guys what we came up with. Okay, so this is the top. Very simple swirl, but um, also very, very pretty with all 
um, those blues and that little touch of brown on the white. So I am really excited to see um, how this one turned out. So tomorrow, which will be just in a blink of an eye for you guys, I will meet you back here and we'll, and we'll cut this little guy. All right, everyone, here we are back and ready to cut this um, soap scented in barber shop for the guys. So this is how it turned out on the top. Just my uh, very simple swirl with the light blues and that a touch, tiny touch of brown and then the side here with the light blue and the teal and the brown. So remember this one, it, um, this fragrance accelerated. So, um, and I realize when I say that it accelerated, it's still, even though it thickened up a little bit, it wasn't like crazy thick acceleration like you know you can get sometimes but I normally um, pour my soap in a very thin and fluid state so when it thickens up like that to me that is um, really thick I know a lot of soap makers actually um, prefer it to be thick and that's their um, ideal consistency to pour but for me that um, was pretty thick so this is the one that I did the layer and then I just did the hanger up and down um, across so let's go ahead and find out if we got a nice look from that oh yay we did I like that a lot that's good for a guy's soap you know nothing nothing too elaborate just a simple <clears throat> simple technique for a men's soap and this fragrance smells absolutely wonderful. It is um, extremely fresh and clean. Perfect for a guy without having that cologne um, quality. Um, and this one, this fragrance, it's such a bummer. Like I said, I do think that this um, is probably my favorite fragrance that I've ever uh, worked with for the guys and it figures that it's one that behaves badly so this one riced it's an accelerator it also riced and um, but it's definitely worth it so that's cool I like I do like the look of it the top so every bar is pretty much um, going to look like this. There isn't going to be much variation in a, <clears throat> in a hanger swirl like this. Ooh, this one barely has any brown in it. So there's a little bit of variation, obviously. This one has more teal and just a touch of brown. I do like that. That looks pretty, pretty neat. Definitely different from um, the look that I normally have in my soaps. I do a lot of very intricate um, drop swirls and um, hanger swirls, so it's kind of nice to have something just uh, very clean and simple every once in a while. Ooh, this one's cool. It's got a lot of the brown and the um, streaks. Fun. So, oh, this one's the same. It's got a lot of the brown and it's very um, streaky. <laughs> streaky. You know what I mean. Oh, cool. So I'm happy with this. That's a nice change. It's very different from, like I said, the look that I normally have in my soaps. Whoops, I always go the wrong way when I try to do that. Let's cut off this little end here. <clears throat> oh, look at that one. The last one. That is cool. All right, you guys, so this was the making and cutting of Barber Shop for the guys, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.